Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a very warm and toasty episode of Baldur's Gate 3 here in this absolutely glorious spa, which has the, uh, you know, unique problem of being overcrowded with, I don't know, ice methods, a water myrmidon, a genie, a raven, uh, a mummy even, a ghoul, and how did we come to be so overcrowded, you might ask? Well, these little spigots here, uh, these restoration faucets, have the effect of restoring any expended spell slots, which is pretty cool. So what that means is if you look over here on the left-hand side of your screen, that Shadowheart has <laughs> the ability to summon a genie, a ghoul, and a mummy. Uh, Gale has all of his summons as well. Uh, and we essentially have expended no resources by doing so. So we are pretty maxed out. Oh yeah, and all these little uh, these little rings that are floating around us, kind of like Saturn, those are Death Ward effects, uh, meaning that uh, pretty much any time any one of us dies for the first time, we will automatically pop back up uh, with one hit point left. So we've got <laughs> Heroes Feast in us, we've got Death Ward, uh, various other buffs and such at our disposal, so we are living large. The other thing I wanted to mention is that I did some digging into Gale's spellbook, and one spell of interest that he happens to have is the spell Knock, which is unlock an object that is held shut by a mundane lock. So what that means, or what I theorize that means, is that if we were to go back to the very entrance of the House of Hope, that little uh, prison hatch here if I'm not mistaken, it is held shut by a mere physical lock. Uh, and Gale, with the low, low price of a second level spell slot, should be able to unlock it and allow us maybe an early peek uh, into what's down there. Now, word of warning, I'm not sure if by doing this uh, I would alert Raphael and maybe he would come back early. But I'm willing to try, so we're going to use knock on this. And yeah, looks like that worked actually. Looks like that worked. So we're going to come down here. I assume, um, based on what the ghost or the specter, the spirit, whatever you want to call it, of hope uh, told us that, yeah, so this is where she is being held down here. So I'm wondering if maybe... I know we won't be able to free her, per se, but perhaps we'll be able to make some progress in removing her captors. You won't be able to see me when you're being digested! You find my prison. My body is held in chains just beyond. Okay. Presumably you intend to chew through the chains, cracking your teeth like eggshells. It won't work! The hammer is the only thing capable of shattering the I feel chains. like this is tinged with sarcasm. Yes, I know. I understand. It's still in the archive. <laughs> yes, it is. And when you remove it, the whole house will go up in flames. And Raphael will fly home furious. I mean, we're kind of counting on it. We'll make sure that we're ready. Ready for Raphael's homecoming? Ah! He'll use you as a handkerchief. No, no, no. Don't listen to me. You're going to do just fine. I'll be waiting. Like I have a choice. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Okay. So, let's see. Let's look through here real quick. So, there she is. Um, just as promised. She's over here, and let's see what's around here. Oh, wow. So we've got a spectator, we've got a vengeful imp. Okay. And then over here we've got oh we've got two spectators. And then a bunch more imps and such. Okay. Hopefully I don't live to regret this, but I'm gonna try to go ahead and clear out these guards here. Now they're already tinged in red, which means they're already somewhat aggroed, so I'm hopeful that we can just go ahead and kill them and nothing bad will happen beyond us just fighting them. You know what I mean? Like, Raphael won't necessarily come home because of this. And I think it would be to our advantage. Because here's the thing. If we're able to kill them, we can go back up to that little spa area and just restore all the spell slots that we are intending to use in this fight. That's my idea. 
let's see if it pays off. I have no confidence that it will necessarily work, but it's the thought that counts, right? Oh my goodness, look at this initiative. And of course, most <laughs> of my party has rolled extremely low. Alright, well, we'll start out with uh, our customary uh, procedure of flying our angel, our diva, out here. And they will effectively be a, uh, a taunt for us. I would like them to start drawing some aggro from the enemies. Just kind of waste your Eldritch Blasts or what have you on them. Oh, they're, they're doing it on me. Okay. Well, that's cool. You don't want to shoot this perfectly good angel that's out here? I guess not. Shoot for Lazel. That's fine as well. She's, she's a tank. She can handle it. Imp's coming in close. That's okay with me. Just get your super duper annoying Eldritch Blasts off. The Raven I'm not even going to put out there for the time being. Uh, the Myrmidon. Let's go ahead and dash. We can Elemental Warp uh, wherever we can see. We can actually go right here. And then we can fly ourselves up here right next to... Oh, the Attack of Opportunity, huh? Okay, well, let's, let's modify that. Let's just move slightly over here. Hopefully that will aggro the spectator. And so they'll come for them and not for me. Oh, of course they're going for Gale. 17 damage on Gale already. He saved from the paralysis, which is superb. Alright. First things first, we should jump across to get ourselves into the best position possible. Let's go forward straight to the middle so that we don't risk falling into oblivion. Let's drop Hypnotic Pattern. Um... Who can I get? I can get the three of them, I believe. Yes. I think that's what I want to do. Uh, we're cutting words, I'm sure. I mean, honestly, why not? Why wouldn't we hip, like, use all our resources at this point? You know? Alright, so that's for Penelope. Uh, we have a ghoul <laughs> at our disposal now. Alright, they will probably take a couple turns to get over because I've got way too many summons who are in the way right now. The imps are going to try to attack me. Oh boy. They rolled a 23. Uh, I'll cutting words, sure. I saved on my concentration saving throw, fortunately. So that means uh, I don't have to worry about dropping hypnotism for now. All right, let's just start working on this imp right here. All right, good start. They're probably going to try to attack Penelope again, I would imagine. Oh, no, not even. That's good with me, I guess. All righty. Yeah, all we can really do is just jump over here, cue ourselves for next time. I could try to frighten the spectator. Oh, it is frightened. Okay, yeah, good use of a mummy. Good use of a mummy. Um, better or worse than Tom Cruise? Than Tom Cruise is the money, mummy, <laughs> the money and mummy. Uh, cool. Yeah, we'll try frightening them. That's fine with me. All right, the spectator. Unfortunately, was not immobilized, so they're going to be out here, but... Alright, Gale took a little bit of a shot. Honestly, I'm not super worried about them, to be honest. Let's maybe do Lazelle first. I think she's out here in front. Um, how far can she go? Pretty much just right here. Okay. Not enough movement. So we can't quite get to the spectator. That's fine. We don't need to. We'll just start working on them. Oh. Destroyed. Destroyed. And um, what can we do? Let's do a menacing attack to try to frighten them. They are frightened. Action surge, because why not? Like, 
We can restore all of our resources. May as well, right? Two and three. <laughs> One spectator almost dead already, which is insane. All right, let's get this ice method as close as possible. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they have a, uh, a ranged attack that they can use. Oh, that was a creative way of getting over here. Okay. Uh, chromatic orb. Hurl freezing energy. Yeah, may as well. Let's try to take the spectator out. And they are gonzo. They are gonzo. Alright, us is over here. Let's just keep them out of the way for the time being. I don't really care. Uh, who is still left? They're left here. Maybe we drop a sacred flame on them. They saved. Cool. Uh, we don't have the movement to jump across, so we shan't be doing that. We can fly across, and then maybe... Uh, what a wild way to get over here. Well, I'll say I respect the hustle. Uh, let's go ahead and toss a chromatic orb at them. Critical hit for a uh, whopping 12 damage. That's great. Gale, let's Misty Step over here. And toss, I don't know, what's something somewhat powerful? These guys are immune to fire, right? These, uh, these imps here, they're hypnotized. I say let's save them for Lazel. So for the time being, we'll just focus down uh, the spectator. All right, back to the top of the order. Here we go. We're going to fly over here. And get a swipe off. A nice little chunk of damage there. They're hypnotized. They're hypnotized. Don't care about the raven. Uh, we're going to send our water myrmidon over here as well. And they're just going to get a normal trident attack off. Okay, that's their one attack. Spectator is frightened, so they'll have disadvantage. Still hit Gale with Wounding Ray, but we honestly don't really care at this point. Penelope, uh, we'll do a vicious mockery, I think. So they'll have disadvantage if they get another turn, which they probably will not. Man, I've got so many summons, it's actually a little ridiculous. It's actually just a slightly ridiculous. Okay. And turn there. Well, that imp there gets... Gets to go. Okay. Uh, let's have the genie... Go ahead and uh, focus down this imp over here. Let's do another frightened on them. Alright, so they're frightened. Very good. Let's do a frightened on them. 50%. They are re-frightened. Excellent. Get the ice methods a bit closer. Toss, uh, I don't know, maybe at this guy now. For a, a one whopping one damage. We'll have Lazelle jump uh, over here. Start chopping away with her three attacks. Two, and one more. Three, she is down for the count. My goodness, Lazelle. And then we'll take a arrow shot at this imp. Uh, don't react to that. We'll fire again. And we'll fire one more time. Come on. Big money. Critical hit. Nicely done, Lazelle. Only one enemy left. Uh, this Or two enemies left. Pardon me. So, I am not too worried. Uh, let's do a Sacred Flame here. We won't react. That's fine. Let's get in the middle so we don't get knocked off. Let's fly all the way over here, I guess. Honestly, I'm not going to attack them because I believe attacking removes the hypnotism, if I'm not mistaken. So we will just kind of posture ourselves for for the next uh, the next round. All right, the diva can go ahead and fly 
over here. Because I really just want to kind of lay into them all at once. And not have to worry about them uh, becoming unhypnotized. Alright, there's just enough space for our wa water Myrmidon to get a quick little attack off. Already did half the damage. Excellent, excellent. We'll do an arrow shot. It's another one down. We'll have them jump. Uh, hmm. Here, I guess. And turn the genie. We'll have them move right here. And then come over this way, and then do a quick thunder wave. 23 damage. Nicely done. We'll just skip their turns. Uh, we'll have the, the methods fly over here. We'll toss a chromatic orb. They're dead. One more enemy to go. Lazel. How far can you jump? Pretty far, it turns out. To no one's surprise. And this should be it. There we go. Combat over. Combat over. Very good. Alright, let's go around and collect our booty. Ooh. The ability to cast Paralyzing Ray, which paralyzes the target for two turns. Honestly, um, let's have Penelope equip that. Well, first we'll pick it up so we can choose which one we want to equip with. Right now we have this this ring which allows us to cast Invisibility and Blur, but we almost never use it. Uh, for better or for worse, but the ability to paralyze would be perfect for a Bard's playbook. Alright, so the nice thing is that once we actually do get the hammer, once we actually do get the hammer, we should be able to just swan on in here like we own the place. Um, free hope. And assuming that the entirety of the House of Hope hasn't just aggroed when we go back upstairs, we should be able to kind of get out with a minimum of uh, fuss, you know? Which uh, is good, because if time is of the essence and we kind of want to... Ooh, there's some nice alchemical stuff there. If we want to make sure we get out as quick as possible, then it might be important for us to not have to take the time to fight a whole bunch of um, spectators and such. Alright, I think that's everybody. Surprisingly, a uh, quick fight in and out. So, the plan is... I'm going to go back upstairs to the, um, to that restoration fountain. Maybe not. Well, I guess we got to do this lever or whatever, right? Let's go back up to the restoration fountain, and we basically should just be able to recharge all of our resources. Oh my goodness, this is insane. How many of us are there? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15-ish check my math on that. Absolutely insane. But I expect the Raphael confrontation to be pretty tough if they're being so generous with uh, with all of our resources. Expecting it to be pretty tough. Alright, so we're finally back here. We're all healed up. We're ready to go. Spell slots are up. We couldn't be happier. Oh, actually, you know what I forgot to do last time is actually loot, uh, loot this guy. Loot the Tempter. Underwear. Great. Sure, we'll hang out to some underwear. Key from Raphael's safe and Hell Dusk gloves. You gain a plus one to spell attacks and spell save DC. Uh, weapon attacks deal additional fire. Necrotic can possibly inflict bleeding. And you can also do rays of fire. Okay. Maybe Shadowheart? What is she currently rocking? I feel like we just gave her something, didn't we? Oh yeah, these Gemini gloves. Alright, we'll keep those on for the time being, but good to know that we have those. And with that, why don't we save real quick? And then we'll push the button beneath this portrait. Uh, I expect there's going to be a safe 
behind here. Cool. Great. All right. So we took some damage there. But you know what I have to say about that? Uh, absolutely nothing, because we can just heal and pretend like it never happened. <laughs> you know? Okay. Ooh, some soul coins. I guess let's send those to camp. Honestly, we never really ended up doing anything with soul coins, did we? And then Raphael's notes. Let's read these. The actors have finally reached Baldur's Gate, so I can commence the next stage of my play. They have learned the Astral Prism's secret, but I will tell them that I have the key. The Orphic Hammer, the only thing that can break the Prince's chains. The hammer will be ke uh, kept safely in the archive, protected by a password. What shall it be? Perhaps give me my heart's desire. Seems pretty useful. Seems pretty useful. Okay, so that is the key word that we were lacking. Ooh, this outfit we will for sure save for later. Honestly, there's a lot of good stuff here from a wardrobe perspective that we probably want to hang on to. Ooh, this blue outfit. Very nice. I love fashion. I love fashion gate. You think this is Baldur's Gate, but this is fashion gate. Uh, let's lock pick this as well. I could use could use Gale just to automatically open it for us. Honestly, I probably should have. Why not? Gale, uh, do the honors, please. There we go. Cast Knock. We can just go ahead and snag that. Ooh, and good thing we did. Scroll of Odaluke's Freezing Sphere and another Potion of Angelic Slumber. They are really loading us up, aren't they? We've got at least four if not five of those basically insta long rests which we're effectively getting here with the uh, with the the fountain anyway kind of funny now what is this deal that's curious insert infernal gem i mean sure infernal control gem what does that do ooh Okay. I don't know what we are doing here with this. An infernal gem seething in its cage, protecting the secrets of its master. Okay. I guess let's try again. Uh, let's use Lucky because why not? Basically, people Protecting are just getting people are just getting knocked back every time. So it's like, why not just go until we pass? You know. Beautiful. Oh, hello, hello. What do we have here? Treasure crates. A really cool painting. I actually almost want the painting more than I want anything else in here. Contract for mall. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. And then a staff of spell power. Okay, there's a lot of interesting things here. So, 666. Very good. I get it. Uh, gold. A Helldusk helmet. You can see a magical ordinary darkness. Can't be blinded. Plus two bonus to saving throws against spells. Attackers can't land crits on the wearer. And immolating gaze. Sear and frighten the target with nothing but your glower. Huh. And it's not heavy armor, or medium armor, even. So, let's send it to Lazel for now, and then we'll figure out who we want to wear it later. The Staff of Spell Power, let's pick that up. And take a look and see what that does. Uh, uh, it's basically a less good version of what Gale already has, because Gale has, like, Lerogan's Secret Staff. And Maul has a contract with, uh, with, uh, what's his name, with Raphael. So how do I, how do I read this? A plain unadorned note. Well, I want to read it. Um, well, I assume if there's a contract for Maul, it's 
bad news bears. Like, we... It's not going to be good for her. So, can we destroy it? There's no, like, hit points associated with it. Uh, Shadowheart, what if you were to cast something radiant on it? Like, cast Sacred Flame on... I can't do it on that. What if you were to do Guiding Bolts on this? Took zero damage. Interesting. What about Firebolt? Took zero damage again. Huh. Well, we'll steal it for the time being. I'm not sure what we're going to do with it. Not sure what we're going to do with it, but good to know that we have it. Okay, let's um, go ahead and replenish our resources one more time, and then we will head straight over to the archive. Uh, which way is it? This way, I guess. It's this room, I believe. Yes. Uh, so the other thing we need to do is to steal the rest of the stuff. So we may want to cast invisibility for that. Uh, and maybe do like... Oh, but there's traps, aren't there? I do believe there are traps. Okay. Here's what we'll do. We will come over here. And I think I have some potions of invisibility. I've got a scroll of greater invisibility. Quite ready for you. Oh, Gale has some. There we go. Send those to Penelope. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pop one real quick and then enter turn-based combat. Drink. Turn-based combat. Here we go. So I need to come over here and disarm this plate, hopefully with guidance. Didn't actually check. Ooh, no. I'll do I'll do lucky, maybe. It's a little tense. We did it. Oh, I am no longer invisible. Whoops. Okay, well I'll Maybe I should just use the scroll of greater invisibility on myself. I don't know. Because you can do that and not uh not be counted as doing an action, right? Alright, everybody else basically just end turn. Actually, let's just exit turn-based mode. And we'll re-enter turn-based mode in a second. Alright, we're gonna go and steal these now. Great, so we have acquired the gauntlets. And let me go ahead and cast Greater Invisibility on myself. This is a little ridiculous. As long as they don't aggro, which they have not done yet. Yes, there was a thief. I don't know who could have done it. Alright, so first things first. Uh, cast scroll of greater invisibility on me. Got concentration. Uh, exit turn based mode. And then we'll re enter in a second so we can go ahead and get our action back. This might be a little tough. We'll use an we'll use guidance. We'll use another luck point. Actually, well, let's use let's take that off. Let's use uh, Shadow Hearts Cat's Grace. Cool, another success. And this amulet of greater health. We'll steal that. Stealth successful. Very good. So these Gauntlets of Hill Giant Strength would be awesome for Lazelle, but obviously they're earmarked for our patron. This Amulet of Greater Health set the wearer's constitution to 23. The enchantment has no effect if their constitution is higher without it. Advantage on con saving throws. 
which has implications for um, uh, concentration checks. So why don't we send that to Shadowheart? I'm ready. Shadowheart, what are you currently wearing? This pearlescent restoration, honestly, this is better than that, I think. There we go. I've got a long road ahead. And so Penelope, why don't you come over here and we're going to kick things off with uh, with a bang. Your thievery has been noticed. Choose your next move carefully. Try to talk her way out of the situation, of course. Oh no, who who was um I don't know who <laughs> who was uh, discovered. But we're fine for the time being. Free. Okay, Penelope. Come over here and let's do this. There it is. The Orphic hammer, right within reach. A magical field surrounds the item, preventing you or anyone from touching it. You surmise it's controlled by a vocal component. Magic words. You know the words. Now speak them. Hammer, hammer on the wall. Give me my greatest heart's desire, or whatever. The magic blinks away at your words. There we go. Might I suggest that was a little too easy? Steal this, and we shall brace ourselves yes. for what comes next. Gail, I know. I feel the hells will truly let loose. I know. We're ready. Oh, look, there's an autosave happening right here, which means all hell is truly breaking loose. Here we go. All right. All right, let's start getting this out of here. This is delightful. You have what you wanted, but you cannot leave lest all hells break loose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> a hopeless situation. Because <laughs> this is the House of Hope. I get it. You're not funny. Good news. A bad news. A worst news. C good news. You got what you came for. Successful visit. Great success. Fantastic work. Bad news. So many things will be on fire when you step outside of this room. You included. That's okay, no, right? It's hell. You expected it to be hot. I did. Worst news, Raphael's on his way home, and oh boy, oh boy, he is spitting mad. You planned for this. I know you did. You have everything under control. I do. It's really At least I think I do. You don't panic, even when your eyes evaporate from the heat. Come to my prison, bring the hammer, break my chance, and then we exit stage any which way. Okay, um... I'll be there. I do not mind. Okay, uh, the hammer is pretty heavy, though. You have advantage against saving throws against spells. Ooh. Maybe we have uh, Lazelle wield this. Wouldn't that be good for her? What does she have right now? Ooh, Baldurin's Giant Slater is pretty good. On a hit, double the damage from your strength modifier. It gives you advantage on large rolls. Ooh. Is that better, or is this better? Nah, let's just have her carry it. I kind of like the Giant Slayer too much. So here we go. Everybody ready? Here we go. I guess we'll talk to Lazel real quick. Before we roll initiative. Yes, the hammer is ours. The means to Orpheus's release is in our hands. To the Undercity, Vos must hear of our victory. When we next enter the Astral Prism, we will break Orpheus free. For now, keep focused. Raphael will come to take back his treasure. This is our chance to find out how much this devil bleeds. Yep, that's the idea. Here we go. So, let's see, who is aggroed right now? These eternal debtors. Alright, so let's plan out our route of escape. We basically have to make it all the way over to this prison. We can cut through if we want, but we could also stop by Raphael's room and get re... Uh, kind of like re... filled up on resources. I say we go through the feast hall 
We go to the prison. If it turns out that the prison, like, is too crazy, like there's new enemies or whatever, we can also always backtrack to his bedroom. But I think we can just cut through the feast hall. So, who do we want to have in front? We probably want to have Lazel in front so she can do Lazel things. So here we go. Whoa. Hell sphere blasted. What is happening here? A hellish sphere. Whoa, what does this do? Enemies and objects within 10 feet of the sphere at the end of their turn take a bunch of fire damage. On a successful save, they still take half damage. I can destroy it, but it's resistant to most stuff. It can actually do opportunity attacks. So who is actually aggroed right now? This debtor. I wonder if I could maybe run through these doors, close them behind me, or even like a wall of stone, you know what I mean? Uh, or a wall of ice or whatever. Like we have all of those at our disposal. Let's see, let's see for Gale. What does Gale have? Do, do we have wall of stone prepared? We don't. Foolish of me. Um, can I... Can I do a quick change? No, I can't. Fair enough. That wouldn't be that wouldn't be especially fair, would it? Uh, all right. Well, at the very least, let's go ahead and take down this guy. Whoa. Okay, good to know. They explode and then they turn into Animals. <laughs> That's actually very good to know. When a Hell's Boar is hit with a melee attack, it starts burning for three turns. If the affected entity is attacked with radiant damage, Raphael's protection reflects twice that amount as fire damage, and this condition ends. Okay, so it's basically like a legendary save for radiant damage. Okay, so they're pretty much good to go. Who is out here in the front? Um, so you're flying. I wonder, is it worth me just trying to chip away at this thing? I kind of want to try to chip away at this thing. Uh, why can't I get over here? What about, like, right here? Here we are. Uh, and then... Uh, not quite enough movement. Something like that. Alright, also already a decent amount of damage. Let's get a little bit closer. Will stand in my way. Uh, the mummy... How far can I get? I can jump over here. Can I do frightened on anybody? 60%, sure. Cool, the boar is frightened, so they've got disadvantage. Uh, Penelope. This is quite a mess right here. Let's do that. Let's come over here. And, um, you know what we'll do? We will go ahead and, should we do the sword song right now or should we save it? Paralyzing Ray, 60%. Could basically just make it skip its turn, but maybe I want to save these resources, you know? Um, Listen Vicious here. Mockery, we'll just do a Vicious Not Mockery for now, why not? Okay, let's have this guy get into position. And we'll just have him move slightly out of the way. And then come over here and be ready for next turn. The raven, we will just tuck in here for the time being. Don't really need to worry about them. Uh, 
Okay, Gale, what are some good spells that we can get you to go for? I can use one of my fifth levels to hit this, because, uh, let me see, are they vulnerable to anything? Immune to poison, fire, necrotic, psychic. Doesn't say anything about force damage, so I should be okay to just go ahead and full send on this guy. I think I will. Whoa. Okay, yeah. That was pretty effective. Alright, we're going to come over here. Get pretty close. And just do a normal attack. Critical hit. Very good. Us will just run over here, dash, and kind of move out of the way. The mummy. Uh, let's try to frighten the sphere, which presumably has no mind. Oh, immune to frightened. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. That's great. All right. Uh, let's fly over here and... Do ice breath, I guess. A little bit of damage. Let's fly over here. And do chromatic orb. Not much again. Lazel. The fire is actually gone here, so I can pretty much just. Alright, Lazel, why are you not jumping? Why are you not jumping? <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and do our attacks. Critical miss, cool. Uh, Shadowheart, do I have the confidence for you to finish this? Not really. All right, Flaming Sphere is toast. And we'll go ahead and just shoot at them. And again, critical hit, nicely done. And end turn. Uh, let's see here, Shadowheart, come on over and uh, what should I do? I would take reflected damage from this from Sacred Flame. But I think that's okay. Who else is there? Oh, this guy over here. Okay. Honestly, change of plans. I think we just go over to the uh to Raphael's little boudoir and just Whoa. Okay. Yeah. Cool. We just go to Raphael's boudoir and we, uh... We replenish our resources. Like, why not, right? Like, if we have the, have the chance to, may as well. Great. Alright, Lazel, let's just bring you uh, over here and do a few shots. There's one. Whoops. Here we go. Alright. I guess we're good. <laughs> um, cool. And down the hatch. And we should be able to just kind of waltz in with no harm. You really went and did it, didn't you? <laughs> the 
The whole house is tumbling down and Raphael striding across the plains to come catch a mice. I swing that big, beautiful hammer, crack open my chains, and let's get out of here. It's time to buy this coop on a hope and a prayer. Okay, any advice? Don't! But if you must, make sure I'm with you. He makes mistakes when he's angry, and seeing me running free will make him as angry as an axe head. Alright, let's do this. I'm so brave, but we really don't have a choice. <laughs> I guess when you put it like that. One day I'll catch a break. Alright, so oh. here's what we'll do. We'll just send um let's ungroup. We'll just have Lazel come over here. We don't need the whole cavalcade running together. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch from the sword to the hammer. There we go. Boom. And then come over here. And attack this one. Boom. Free! I never thought I would be believed I could be hoped I might be. Heads will but we must dress the holly fint in the room. I can see how you avoid looking at me. I must be so terribly mutilated after all these decades of torture. No, you look Don't great. Don't back. Tell me how bad it is. Honestly, you look fantastic. <laughs> I'd blush if they had left me any skin to redden, and I would kiss you if they had not torn off my legs. Um... Seriously, there's nothing wrong with you, physically at least. I hope that was a compliment. We'll carve our way to the entrance hall and chop Raphael into messes. That's the hopeful version, of course. The likely version is that we are the messes and he is the chopper. Onwards! Yeah, I'm with you. Cool, so she is actually a companion now. Looks like. Uh, once we get over across this chasm... Why don't we take a quick look at her skill set? All right, come on over. So, looks like she is a cleric. She's got bless, mask your wounds, uh, mage armor. Um, I don't know what her AC is right now. Should I just should I go ahead and uh, her AC is nineteen? She doesn't need mage armor at the moment. Guiding Bolt, uh, Divine Strike. Ooh, a Divine Intervention. Interesting. Uh, Shadowheart has one of those. Preserve Life. Um, huh. So this is Divine Intervention. What could she cast with it? She can do a whole bunch of Radiant Damage. She can Revive and Heal. She can do potions and camp supplies, and then she can create a legendary weapon. Interesting. Okay, so if we, in fact, need that, no good to know that's in the tank. But for now, let's head upstairs. No Raphael uh, yet, interestingly enough. Need to find a way forward. Oh, there's another uh, encounter here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Put Lazel on the front. Oh, there's a bunch of them here. That's why. How many are there? There's like... There's six. Okay. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and switch the hammer back to this uh, giant sword or whatever. And kick things off. There we are. Alright, the angel, we're just going to keep them back here to try to preserve their life as long as possible. Uh, this water myrmidon, maybe a, a sacrificial lamb. Ooh, there's quite a few unhappy people. Where, where are they? All around us, huh? Okay. Okay. 
Right, the genie can maybe come over here and then thunder wave people. Thunder wave these two. Cool. One of them's dead. The other one is now an imp. The raven will just keep tucked back here with the winged crew as well. Uh, the mummy can go ahead and get on in here. Who should we work on? Let's frighten this imp. Come on, come stay idle. Let's go ahead and drop a uh, hypnotic pattern on these guys. It's pretty much everyone in here. And that will hopefully let us kind of pick and choose our battles a bit better. Okay, there's another one. Us, we'll keep back here. The mummy, we will try to do frightened. There we go. Finally got it to stick. Uh, Gale. Let's do, I don't know, Ray of Frost. That's probably better than, um, than a Firebolt at the moment. Lavezel is immune to prone, I believe. I've given her something that, uh, provides that for her. Let's jump over here to the non-hypnotized person. Okay, uh, opportunity attack. I mean, sure. Ooh, nicely done. Alright, they're already dead again. Honestly, I don't know why I send anybody but Le Lazelle. Because she can, want, like, take everybody on by herself. Oh, uh, this whole anti-radiant thing is really annoying. Oh, they're immune to fire. Right, I forgot. That's on me. And then Hope, I don't want you to get hurt. We're just going to keep you back here for now. Alright, Water Myrmidon, let's uh, fly you around these parts. Do a little trident attack. Still pretty good. The genie will have you come here. And have you attack normally. 12 damage. Everybody else is hypnotized. Nothing important is ever easy. Um, we will do this person first. Alright, no longer hypnotized, but that's okay. We'll do their little explosion. And same thing with them. Critical hit, nicely done. Ray of Frost. Lazelle, go ahead and take this fool down. Alright, they're dead already. Cool. Uh, jump over here. Oh no, whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Did not mean to do that. Okay. And then just please finish this off. Alright, everybody, please don't run through the fire, if you can help it. Let's just wait until the fire kind of settles down. Not too worried about the flying guys, but... Everybody else. Alright, I think we are good. I think we're good. Should we check the corpses real quick and just see if there's anything good? Why not? Nothing there. 
Uh, the halberd or whatever, sure. All right, we're almost there. One more door to go. And if there's one more door to go, then... I mean... Stands to reason that we know, we He's might... <laughs> we might puzzle out who could be waiting for us on the other side of this door. So here we, here we go. I don't see anybody in there. Here's something I'm thinking. Let's go ahead, let's go to Shadowheart. And she can cast Death Ward. Let's have her cast Death Ward on Hope. There we go. So now she is Death Warded just like everybody else. Uh, so with that, everybody, let's come on in here. Still no Raphael. Time slows for a moment. Uh oh. The air becomes thicker. Never mind. The master of the house is coming. There he is. You. Oh, is that Hope's sister? Bet you it is. Oh, <laughs> no, it's that guy. I remember him. Was it your gill or something like there that? There are many things in your world that I loathe. Litters of kittens, chattering children, the noise, and the chaos of it all. In my world, in my house, there is order, and there is decorum. You came here uninvited, and you stole from me. In doing so, you brought the chaos of your world into mine. I will not abide it. Well, um... Carilla, this is your chance to be free. Help me to take him down. You think I'm on your side? You could be. The only reason you're here is because Raphael allowed you to be. Really? I permitted you the freedom to decide your own fate. You could have been smart, selfless, saved the world. Instead, you came here and risked everything. It's the fatal flaw of mortal kind. Take away their free will and they call you a tyrant. Allow them to indulge it and they become tyrants. You would have been heroes if you'd only dealt fairly with me. Instead, you're not so different to doomed Cassus, overreaching your limits and Burning your world to ash. Wrong, wrong, wrong! They will save their world and smash you to smithereens. It's this charming naivety that makes your company such a joy to me, Hope. I'll even forgive this little rebellion once you're suitably chastised. This isn't a rebellion. It's a revolt. I'm revolting! <laughs> then hope dies today. Commander, you can salvage a trophy from these insects when I'm done with them. These insects struck me down beneath the Shadowlands. They are worthy opponents. Their skulls will make fine trophies. Ooh. Um, can we persuade them to join our side? Let's try. <laughs> A DC 30, huh? Okay, what can I do? Um, we can do friends to get, get advantage. We can get guidance. And that's about all I can do. I've got no inspiration, so it is what it is. Here we go. Oh, a 36. Yes, please. <laughs> to stand against a devil in his own home. That takes courage. I'm with you. Betrayal. How tiresome. Am I to understand that you wish to die with them? I wish to fight with them. 
It's all the same in the end. If you have any last words, make it quick. It will only take a moment to finish you. Well. Um. I've been hoping to kill you ever since I met you. That's kind of true. If I die, Baldur's Gate is doomed. That's also true. Such a shame. I'll make sure you live long enough to watch it burn. And whether it takes a hundred years or a thousand, the crown will be mine eventually. My time will come. Your time is over, little mouse. Now, down comes the claw. Oh. Whoa. Okay. Master of the house? Okay. Your gear is on our side, fortunately. He's got some cambions on his side. Devilishly strong. What does that mean? They have advantage on strength and dex checks. Solar pill proximity. Surrounded by four soul pillars granting his attacks additional fire damage and a plus 12 to bonus and saving throws. So I need to destroy these pillars? They're resistant to bludgeoning... ...and force. <laughs> Is he singing in his own boss fight song? For now down here come the claws. Oh man. Okay. So who do I take out first? I guess... Do I work on the, the pillars first? And then the allies? I think I've got to take the allies out first, honestly. So here we go. We're doing this. Fools, fools, how hard you have fought. Brave, brave, but it's all been for naught. True souls that couldn't be bought, doomed, detected, and caught. Ray of fire, that's okay. Okay. No more deals. It's over. The final act. You're doomed. No more grace. It's over. This house of hope. Okay. We're going to do a big old hypnotic pattern. Like all of these guys even hitting our own ally. That's okay. Here we go. Ooh, cutting words. He is hypnotized. Beautiful. This whole half of the room is hypnotized, which gives us a little bit of time. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to chug this last potion of invisibility. And I am going to run Swift as, my as feet far can as I can to try to preserve concentration. Oh, Hope is in a very bad position right there. Sense hidden presence. Oh, they're looking for... They're looking for me. Because I went invisible. Alright, that's okay. That's fine. Alright, these ghouls... We'll just come over here. Make a swipe. The genie. I might come here and just try to um, thunder wave them. Uh, 
Like so. There we are. Nicely done. Same thing here. Just start chipping away. Same thing here. Raphael is hypnotized. Alright, he is no longer hypnotized. Don't love that. Now, I could use Sunbeam, but... Uh, the whole anti-radiant thing is an issue. What about banishment on him? No? On any of them? No. Well, let's do spiritual weapon. Um, right over here. Start working on her. And then as far as... Dominate person. Dominate them. They're already going to fight for us, which is fantastico. We gotta start taking down these pillars. Does it say anything about radiant damage? Doesn't. So I could... I could just... Eat the opportunity attack. And just use... Yeah. I think that's what I have to do. I've got to eat the opportunity attack. Bulwark rebuke. Try to knock them prone. I don't think it worked. But they're reeling. Okay. And then use sunbeam on... I can't use it there. Okay, so next turn. I'm just going to start coming this way. Next turn, I'll try to get up here and do Sunbeam. But for the time being... Hmm. Uh, let's see. I can do... Use Channel Divinity. And do Invoke Duplicity. Let's throw it like... I don't know. Back here. Get a little bit further. All right. Okay, Gale. Uh, do force damage or even disintegrate on one of these soul pillars, maybe? Is that... Um... It's vulnerable to force damage, so I could. Means it takes twice as much, right? So, one, two, three, and then four, five, six, possibly. I destroyed one of them outright. And this is has this has seven left. Let's um, do this so that this costs a bonus action. It's immune to fire, but I could cast a ray of frost on it. There we go. So two soul pillars are down already. Okay. Cool. And let's pull back slightly to not be in the thick of it. Your gear is going to fight for us. Love that. Ooh, nice. And go invisible as well. Alright, we'll try to blind this Cambion here. I'm not expecting much. Uh, the mummy... We'll just try to, to attack normally. Critical miss. Cool. Hope. I'm kind of worried, I'll be honest, uh, with you being out here all alone. So... I'm going to pull you back slightly. Divine Intervention. A Guiding Bolt. A revoke Guest Status. Hope banishes one of the unwelcome guests from her house forever. Ooh. That could be this Cambion. It could be one of these Cambions that has not yet been, um... Yeah. I could just get rid of one of them altogether. Why don't we do that? Can't do Raphael, obviously. Let's do one of these Cambions that has not yet been hurt. So... 
this one, for instance. Cool. So they are gone forever. That's a pretty good use, I will say. Okay, the mummy is going to come forward and probably try to cast Frightened on... Maybe them. Alright, they save. That's okay. Uh, these Mephits will try to go ahead and come up here. And... Maybe try to do this Chromatic Orb. Ooh. That's not going to work very well, is it? Let's do it on them. They're almost dead. They're prone. Let's fly over here and uh, do Ice Breath on her. Five damage. Okay, Lazel. Here we go. We're going to have her just abs... Oh, no! Shoot, that's not what I meant to do. I've done that. This is the second time that I've done that. Just the stupid misclick. That's really disappointing. Oh man, what an absolutely brutal misclick. Ugh. Um. Is there anything I can do of use? This cleave, I guess. Sure, why not? Cool. Hey, that's something, right? Uh, I guess I could action surge and dash with one of my actions and actually get within normal range. There we go. Pretty much a waste, but... Oh, well. Alright, she's dead. He's dead. And I have no more actions. Alright. There we go. Spiritual weapon. There we go. Uh, let's start working on this pillar, I guess. Do as much as we can. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm still concentrating on the hypnotism for two of the cambians, so I'd prefer not to cast another hypnotism s or uh, concentration spell, but. What about this Tasha's Irresistible Dance? I feel like that might be more useful than having the Cambians not be hypnotized. Because remember, we used this on Orin to pretty tremendous effect. I think I'm going to try it. Cool. So, Irresistible Dance. I'm going to run as far as my little legs can carry me. So he is... He is incapacitated. Disarming strike, huh? Spiritual weapon. You're going to attack my spiritual weapon? Great. I'm so I'm so scared. <laughs> Alright, that's fine. I think that was a good decision. Ooh. Counterspell, maybe, from Gale. Who is he? I wish I knew who he was attacking. I'm going to counterspell with Gale, just in case... He's trying to attack um, Penelope, because I do not want her to drop that concentration. At all costs. Pretty good. Pretty good. Keep chipping away. Uh, water Myrmidon. Pretty superb. Oh, he saved. Well, that sucks. All right. Does he still get his turn? I guess he does, huh? Rays of fire. Uh, oh, I guess he doesn't get his turn. That's okay. All right, they're going to hit Gale. That's fine. Whatever. Alright, well, Shadowheart was going to cast Sunbeam up here, but that's... That's not a thing now. Thwarted Consumption, what does that mean? 
Raphael cannot consume a soul from this pillar because it recently took radiant damage. Oh, okay. So even if we don't destroy them, if we do the radiant damage, like Sacred Flame 1... Oh, it cannot be inanimate. Never mind. Never mind. I still kind of want to... I think we're going to give her a potion of speed. I've got a few of those. Pretty good. Uh, send those to Shadowheart. Shadowheart, why don't you drink one of those? We're going to Dimension Door you. Um, why can't I... Why can't I Dimension Door? Cannot be moved by force. Maybe I've got like a weird item on that's preventing me from... From doing that? Okay, hang on. Gotta thread the needle here. And then cast Sunbeam. That's not gonna work. Alright, so I've gotta use one of my actions to dash. I'm gonna come around here, and hopefully Sunbeam can hit multiple targets. If not, that's okay. Uh, yeah, it looks like it can only hit one. That's fine. Cool. So hopefully she can maintain concentration on this. Just keep casting Sunbeam for the time being. Gale, I'm going to use... Oh, this is only once a short rest, is it? I'm going to use my 6th level Disintegrate slot, I think. I think it's important enough. We're going to take a long rest anyway, you know? So, Disintegrate on the pillar. There we go. Down it goes. And I'm going to keep him here in the corner, I guess. Your gear is going to pop back out, and he's going to do his thing. All right, not bad. We'll try to blind them. Hey, it actually worked with a crit. Good for you. Another crit. My goodness. All right. Uh, hope. I'm also a little nervous. I've got another revoke guest status. I can just totally get rid of this Cambion. There we go. See ya. So that's two Cambions just totally removed from the fight altogether. Love that. Let's have her run over here. Alright, this mummy... Uh, which mummy is it? This one here. Doing pretty well, I would say. Um... Maybe we should get all up in Raphael's business. Even though, like, he can't, like, nothing bad can happen to him, basically. But. We'll at least give him something to think about over here. Here we are. There's one. Hello? Did that work? Oh, you bet your... Bet your butt it worked. Um, we're gonna come up here and then attack again. Alright, good turn. Spiritual weapon. Do your thing. I'm going to fly over here and attack this. Ooh, only four damage left. I'm not concentrating on anything at the moment, am I? No, I don't think I am. So, really, um, why don't I, why don't I just do a magic missile? We'll do a fourth level magic missile. So how many is that? That's six magical darts at about three and a half damage each. Okay. So here's what we'll do. We'll get a little bit closer. Fourth level magic missile. We'll do two here. And the rest on him. Alright, not bad. 
rays of fire. I don't really care at this point. I don't really care all that much. I don't have anything I'm really concentrating on other than Shadow Hearts uh, Sunbeam. But that's a little bit, you know, obsolete. Overcome by events at the moment. Interestingly, like, Raphael has not really had any opportunity to do much, has he? Which, uh, you know, fortunately, I, I think that's partially due to the fact that we were able to convince your gear to be on our side. Otherwise, we would have a lot more to think about. But still, 600 damage is, or 600 health is nothing to sneeze at. I am a little worried. Opportunity attacks coming in hot, though. Uh, so... He didn't really... Oh, he went prone. Well, that was kind of foolish, wasn't it? That was... That was not a smart idea to go prone. Now, is he vulnerable to Radiant by any chance? Um... No, he is not. He's not vulnerable to anything. But... I feel like this could... We could still... Yeah. We could still use it. Oh, Sunbeam was just a one-time... was just a one-time use. That's fine. Well, we'll just do uh, Spirit Guardians in that case. There we go. Nicely done. And what else are we going to do? What's the biggest spell that we have? Um... Pretty much just attack at this point. Tempest, I will raise. Just surround him and go to town. I mean, there's nobody else other than him left, right? So we're going to use our arcane battery feat. We're going to do a disintegrate. Oh, I can't get close enough to do that, though. Well, we'll misty step uh, up here. To get the high ground. And then we'll use our arcane battery. Oh no, I used my arcane battery for that. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> not what I meant to do at all. Alright, a little bit of a misplay there. Whoops. Whoops. Alright, what about dethrone? On this guy. 25%? It's something. He's going to save, but we're still going to chip away at him. Oh, there's this guy over here. I should have taken out. Oh, well. I'm not worried. There we go. Critical hit from the mummy. Um, what else? What other big spells do you have? Mostly healing. Healing variety. Let's just do a guiding bolt, I guess. Right? Uh, let's start coming over here. Radiant Divine Strike of the ranged variety, I guess. Ooh, a critical hit. Nicely done. And just chop away. There's quite a bit of damage that we need to be doing here. Honestly, we, should, we need to keep creating these prone surfaces here. For these uh, ice, icy surfaces. I am death. She's immune to prone, so she does not care. We're going to do this goading attack, I think. He's goaded. Okay, so we can just attack as normal. Alright, and turn. Spiritual weapon is just going to come over here and do spiritual weapon things. Oh, Angel's prone. Angel down. Uh, I'm going to cast Haste on Lazel if I can. Oh, I'm not quite close enough, am I? Oh, 
Uh, let's play the melody, I guess, while we're doing doing this. Give people some buffs. Man, it is hard to find an opening to attack him at this point. We'll find a way, hopefully. Literally every single portion is filled. He's goaded into attacking Lazel, which is good. Right, he's got a soul charge. I don't know what that means. It's a soul charge. One soul to spend on powerful spells. Ooh. Don't love that. Uh, Spirit Guardians is going off, which is good. So what do we do in the meantime? Man, I really wish I had Sunbeam right about now. Guess I can do like a, a mass cure wounds to everybody. Or a mass healing word. Why don't we do that? Let's go ahead and start topping everybody off a little bit. And then do... Sacred Flame. Uh, Gale... Uh... Man, what can we do with Gale at this point? I feel like we just need him to get... Yeah. Cast Fear on him? On Raphael? Sure. Why not? Don't think that worked. <laughs> Alright, end turn. I assume he's immune to Frightened, but... Oh, he is not, surprisingly enough. Alright, we'll just take a quick shot at him. Take a melee attack. Keep making prone surfaces or icy surfaces for him to go prone. Same thing here. Lazel will do a goading attack. Cutting words. He is goaded. Wow, 30 damage. Well done. Maybe even do like a prone attack. Um, hang on, hang on. Make sure we choose the right one. Pushing attack, no. Trip attack. Trip attack melee. There we go. Okay. Trip attack melee again. There we go. Down he goes. Spiritual weapon. I can't quite get close enough this turn. Critical hit. Whoa. 53 damage. Um, at this point, just start chucking uh, magic missiles at him. Here we go. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Can't reach. Great. We'll just skip. If they can't reach, I'm not going to worry about trying to get close enough to do it. All right, he's goaded. Those have disadvantage. Repost. That's another miss. All right, how are we doing, everybody? Let's find a better spell for Gale to cast. Sort by type. Um, why don't we do... I don't know, maybe even like another Irresistible Dance, but he saves from that pretty easily. A Sunbeam? I kind of want to preserve those Sunbeam spells. Man, it's crazy that we've gotten to the point where it's like hard to find something worth worthwhile to cast, you know? Um, I think I'm just going to do like a Ray of Frost. <laughs> it's kind of funny to say, but... I don't think he has much hope of getting out of this. Just take a, another regular shot at him. All my summons ganging up on him. Make more ice. More ice. More 
Nice. Alright, Lazelle has no more uh, superiority die. But honestly, she does not need them in this case. And we'll do a second wind on us, sure. Why not? Just top off our health a little bit. Spiritual weapon. Spiritual weapon doesn't even have room to get attack off. Which is crazy. We'll do another magic missile at the fourth level on him. Alright, he's below 100. He's below 100, officially. We're skipping a bunch of turns here. Alright, Raphael, what do you got? Okay. Sure. Uh, she still has Spirit Guardians up, so that is great. Um, what else can I do right now? Fear, I guess? I don't want to hit everybody with it. I think I'm just going to attack normally. And I'm just going to do Ray of Frost. Your gear is going to take pot shots from downtown. Skip the Raven, skip the Mummy. Do a quick crossbow shot. Sixty-six out of six six six. It's gotta mean something. It means we're on the home stretch. Alright, Lazel, maybe you can end it this turn. Thirty-seven. Come on. Twenty-eight. This is it. Come on. Nine hit points. That's it. Man. It's absolutely preposterous that any of us are alive. Preposterous is right. Maybe we're not. Pinch yourself and check we're not dreaming the last of our lives as we die screaming. Well, it could all be a dream. I'll pinch myself, sure. You are wide awake, and Raphael truly is defeated. What if this was all a dream? How crazy is that? Incredible as it seems, we really did defeat him. Defeat him. Incredible. We're incredible. We're spectacular. We are. It's true. What a wonderful, jubilant, glorious day. <gasps> but my poor sister, Carilla. It is not right that she died. And that makes me want to weep an ocean. I'm sorry. She made her choice. Um, there's nothing... She didn't want to be saved, so... There was no way to save her. When we were children, she always kept the last piece of pastry for me and bloodied the nose of the bullies who pulled my hair. She was my sister. But as a wise woman once said, there's no point in crying over spilt blood. We must go on. A and lot despite of truth all the years that. I've lost, I have enough love in my heart to guide you home. For the first time since you heard her voice, hope seems calm, and the peace flows from her into you. Soothing your very soul. Yeah, I mean, I could use your help for sure. And go where? I don't think I quite know how to be anywhere else but here anymore. Well, coming to my camp would be a good start. And a thorough cleaning. This could be a lovely little house. Yeah, but in hell? And I can hardly leave. After all, who would ever want to think of hell without hope? I hope. I'll see Carilla again one day, and that she'll say sorry, and I'll tell her she's forgiven. That's a very nice sentiment. I hope I find all the pieces of my mind that fell out of my head over all those years, and that I'll be able to put myself back together again. I hope the echoes of pain will fade, and memories of sorrow will die, and that you'll visit me here someday. And I hope you have a happy ending of your own. Very nice. Hope is finally free. She plans to give true meaning to the name House of Hope. Gloves of Soul Catching. Your unarmed attacks deal additional force damage once per turn on an unarmed hit, etc., etc. These are really good for monks. Not quite our thing, but it's nice to have nonetheless. So, uh, what about this guy? What is, what is he gonna do now? 
You fought well. We could use such strength in the blood war. <sighs> now I'm free of Raphael's blasted contract. I can return to the front lines. Oh, I mean, if that's really what you want to do, um... I have my own front line to return to in Baldur's Gate. Whoever your enemies are, they have good reason to fear you. And I'll gladly lend you my skills against them oh, when the time cool. comes. Oh, cool. Your gear is going to help them. us out. Nice. Good luck to you, little rabbit. You're a finer hunter than any wolf. I agree with that. All right, I think we'll finish up this episode by looting Raphael's corpse. And we get a little bit of money. Some liqueur. We'll send that to camp to do later. Raphael's diary. I want to reread that real quick. Chapter 1. Penned in his sybaritic hand. While I have, over many a sumptuous season, cast the net of my contractual predilections both far and wide, never have I been so attracted to mortals as I am to those infested by the tadpole. These particular fish find themselves plashing toward their doom, toward a steel hook unblemished by bait. How they resist the current. How inexorable its whelm, its tug, its dark undertow. At the end of, the end of its fishing pole, the illithid. How their tentacles must quiver like cool jelly at the prospect of more catches, more and more each day along the troubled riverbank. This process has a name I sample now aloud to savor its taste. Ceramorphosis. I shall make crafty use of this development. For with the hook glinting and death so close, what could loom larger in the stricken fish's mind than the prospect of rescue? And where there's a need of rescue, Raphael will be there. A chapter from his diary penned in his steady, imperious scrawl. Last night I dreamt of a river. Waist deep I waded in it. Rusted hooks curled up from the water like the snaggled teeth of something ancient and diseased and submerged. The moon over the water cracked and fire flew out on the stubby wings of gormless, insanely chirping chicks. They transformed into wriggling oblongs like sperm, yet by the time they hit the water they were fish with scales of orange and gold. There came a rushing sound, the dark water ablaze as if the fishes were matches, and the river a snake of oil. Approaching me out of the flames came the tadpole infested. There was one among them who spoke for the rest. They gestured to the melting hooks, suddenly glanced my way, and in their face I saw they had the best of me. In waking, my courage has firmed. I progress my plans for the tadpole even now. I am Raphael. I am not easily bested. Finally, the final chapter from a diary penned in his hand. Here and there, his composed hand stiffens and moves erratically, as if he were by time seized by emotion both powerful and unexpected. The plot thickens, goes the aphorism, entirely inadequate. The plot mutates. It fluctuates. I have conceived no less than 13 variations by which I might seize the crown of Carsus. Yet in the tumult of this eternally flowing river of schemes, I, the most careful of fishermen, finds his catch elusive and difficult to wrangle. Even in cooperation, such ambiguity and delicious surprise. But the hook has snagged, the doom of seromorphosis has abated. Yet they could not predict, could they? Could they? That in leaving behind the river, they have in fact welcomed the fishbowl. I am master here, a prince of bargains cloaked in cunning like scarlet satin. All that hidden under sublimely obvious truths that cannot be discounted. So the fisherman reels, the tadpoled are my catch. Struggle as they might, writhe as they wish, flop and squirm and thresh with every ounce of strength. No matter. By all the reeking flames of hell, I will not be denied. He was starting to lose it there towards the end. As we stymied him at every turn, and... In exchange, we get this Hell Dusk armor. You are considered proficient with this armor while wearing it. When you succeed a saving throw, the caster receives burning for three turns. You have resistance to fire damage and cannot be burned. You take three less damage from all sources. It looks very cool. And you can cast Fly, of course. We'll send that to Lazel for the time being. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, what I'll probably do is just return from here to camp. I may even long rest. Uh, and there's nothing really left but 
but to just go ahead into the final fight. And so I think there's no more side quests that we have. I hope you enjoyed this probably uh, longer than typical episode, but there was a lot to finish up here in the House of Hope. And with that, we will begin with the, uh, the final act, I suppose, when we return. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.